Russia's struggle to develop a genuine fifth-generation fighter aircraft represents one of the most significant technological and strategic challenges facing the country's defense industry. Despite decades of development and billions of rubles invested in the Su-57 Felon program, Moscow has failed to produce a fighter that truly matches the capabilities of Western fifth-generation aircraft like the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II. This failure stems from a complex web of technological, economic, and industrial limitations that have fundamentally compromised Russia's ability to compete in the most advanced tier of military aviation. To understand Russia's failures, it's essential to recognize what defines a true fifth-generation fighter. These aircraft are characterized by five key capabilities. Stealth technology that significantly reduces radar detectability. Super cruise capability enabling sustained supersonic flight without afterburners. Advanced avionics and sensor fusion. Network data links for information sharing and multi-role versatility. The gold standard examples are the American F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II, which demonstrate all these characteristics in operational service. Against this benchmark, Russia's Su-57 falls dramatically short across multiple critical areas. The most glaring weakness of Russia's Su-57 lies in its stealth characteristics, which are fundamentally inadequate for a fifth-generation fighter. The aircraft's radar cross-section is estimated to be between 0.1 and 0.5 square meters, making it roughly equivalent to a clean F-A-18 Super Hornet rather than a stealth fighter. In stark contrast, the F-35's radar cross-section is approximately 0.0015 square meters, while the F-22's is even smaller. This means that radars can detect the Su-57 at distances 6 to 10 times greater than they can detect Western fifth-generation fighters, completely undermining the aircraft's supposed stealth advantage and making it vulnerable to detection and engagement by enemy air defense systems. The Su-57 stealth problems stem from fundamental design compromises that prioritize aerodynamic performance over radar signature reduction. Unlike the F-22 and F-35, which were designed from the ground up with stealth as a primary consideration, the Su-57 appears to be a conventional fighter aircraft with stealth features added as an afterthought. The aircraft's external features, including exposed engine nozzles, poorly integrated weapon bays, surface irregularities, and conventional wing designs, all contribute to its large radar signature. The fighter's shape and airframe design create a compromise that satisfies neither stealth requirements nor aerodynamic performance fully, resulting in an aircraft that excels in neither area. Russia's engine technology represents another critical bottleneck in achieving true fifth-generation capabilities. The Su-57 has long struggled with its power plant development, initially relying on the AL-41F1 engine borrowed from the Su-35, which lacks the advanced features necessary for fifth-generation performance. The aircraft's inability to achieve supercruise without afterburners has been a persistent problem, undermining both its stealth credentials and operational effectiveness. When an aircraft must use afterburners to maintain supersonic flight, it produces a massive infrared signature that can be detected by enemy sensors, negating many of the advantages that stealth technology is supposed to provide. While Russia has been developing the more advanced Isdali 30 engine since 2017, progress has been slow and problematic. The engine is intended to provide supercruise capability and improved efficiency, but development delays have plagued the program for years. Even with the new engine, questions remain about whether the Su-57 can achieve the sustained supersonic performance expected of fifth-generation fighters. The engine challenges reflect broader issues in Russia's industrial base, including difficulties in manufacturing advanced materials and precision components required for cutting-edge military engines. The complex metallurgy, precision manufacturing, and quality control required for advanced military engines have proven challenging for Russia's aerospace industry to master consistently. Modern fifth-generation fighters depend heavily on advanced avionics, sensor fusion, and electronic warfare capabilities that integrate multiple sensors and systems into a coherent operational picture. Russia faces significant challenges in developing these systems, particularly in the wake of international sanctions that have severely restricted access to Western microelectronics and advanced semiconductors. 
The sanctions have made it far more difficult for Russia to source the Western avionics and microelectronics that have been essential components of advanced fighter aircraft cockpits, forcing the country to rely on domestically produced alternatives that often fall short of international standards. The Su-57's avionics integration appears to lag behind Western standards, with reports suggesting that the aircraft's sensor fusion capabilities are limited compared to the F-35's advanced distributed aperture system and integrated electronic warfare suite. The development of advanced active electronically scanned array radars, while claimed by Russia, has not been independently verified to meet the standards expected of fifth-generation systems. These electronic systems are crucial for the network-centric warfare capabilities that define modern air combat, allowing pilots to share information seamlessly with other aircraft and ground-based systems while maintaining situational awareness in complex combat environments. Russia's defense industry suffers from significant production and quality control challenges that have hindered the Su-57 program throughout its development. The aircraft has experienced a prolonged and troubled development history, with numerous delays and technical setbacks stretching over more than two decades. Production numbers remain extremely low, with fewer than 30 Su-57S delivered to Russian forces as of 2024, despite the program beginning in 2002. This limited production run reflects both technical difficulties and resource constraints that have prevented Russia from achieving the economies of scale necessary for cost-effective fighter production. The quality control problems extend beyond mere production delays to fundamental issues with manufacturing consistency and reliability. Reports of manufacturing defects, system integration issues, and reliability problems have plagued the program throughout its development. The aircraft's complexity, combined with Russia's industrial limitations, has created a situation where each Su-57 represents a significant technical challenge rather than a routine production item. This stands in stark contrast to the F-35 program, which despite its own challenges, has delivered over 800 aircraft to multiple nations and continues to ramp up production rates. Russia's economic limitations have severely impacted the Su-57 program's development and deployment in ways that extend far beyond simple budget constraints. The country's defense budget, while substantial in absolute terms, cannot match the resources available to American defense programs, particularly when spread across multiple competing priorities. The Su-57's development has been stretched over more than two decades, with funding constraints forcing compromises in design, testing, and production that have ultimately undermined the aircraft's capabilities. The claimed flyaway cost of $35 million appears unrealistically low for a genuine fifth-generation fighter, suggesting either significant cost understating or substantial capability compromises that make the aircraft less capable than advertised. The economic sanctions imposed following Russia's various military actions have further constrained the program by cutting off access to advanced Western technologies, materials, and components. This technological isolation has created a vicious cycle where the Su-57 becomes increasingly outdated compared to Western alternatives, as Russia cannot access the latest developments in material science, microelectronics, and manufacturing techniques that are essential for maintaining competitive advantage in advanced military aviation. Russia's defense industrial base suffers from fundamental structural problems that impede fifth-generation fighter development in ways that cannot be easily remedied through increased funding or political will. The country's aerospace industry has struggled to maintain the technological edge it possessed during the Soviet era, with brain drain, underinvestment, and technological stagnation affecting key sectors. The complex supply chains required for advanced fighter production have been disrupted by sanctions and economic pressures, making it difficult to source the specialized components and materials required for cutting-edge military aircraft. The manufacturing precision required for stealth fighters represents a particular challenge that highlights Russia's industrial limitations. Achieving the tight tolerances necessary for radar signature reduction requires advanced manufacturing techniques and quality control systems that Russia's aerospace industry has struggled to implement consistently. The integration of advanced composite materials, precision machining, and complex assembly processes has proven difficult to master at scale, resulting in production inconsistencies that undermine the aircraft's performance characteristics. 
Russia's increasing technological isolation has created significant innovation gaps in critical areas that are essential for fifth-generation fighter development. The country's semiconductor industry lags decades behind Western standards, limiting the development of advanced flight computers, radar processors, and electronic warfare systems that are fundamental to modern fighter aircraft capabilities. The closed nature of Russia's defense industry has also limited technology transfer and knowledge sharing that might accelerate development, creating a situation where Russian engineers must reinvent solutions that Western counterparts developed years or decades earlier. The brain drain affecting Russia's technical workforce has compounded these problems by removing many of the country's most talented engineers and scientists. Many have emigrated to Western countries, taking their expertise with them and leaving Russia's defense industry struggling to maintain competitiveness in rapidly evolving technological fields. This talent exodus has created a situation where Russia lacks the human capital necessary to develop and maintain the advanced systems required for fifth-generation fighters, even when financial resources are available. The Su-57's operational limitations extend beyond technical specifications to real-world combat effectiveness in ways that reveal the aircraft's fundamental shortcomings. The aircraft's limited production numbers mean that Russian forces cannot develop the operational experience necessary to maximize its potential, as pilots and maintenance crews have limited opportunities to train with the aircraft. The fighter's complex systems require extensive training and maintenance support that Russia's Air Force has struggled to provide consistently, limiting the aircraft's operational readiness and effectiveness. Combat operations in Ukraine have highlighted additional limitations that demonstrate the Su-57's vulnerability in contested environments. Reports suggest that Su-57S have been used sparingly and primarily for standoff attacks rather than air superiority missions indicating concerns about the aircraft's survivability in contested airspace. The loss of at least one Su-57 to Ukrainian strikes on Russian airfields demonstrates the aircraft's vulnerability even when operating from presumably secure bases, raising questions about its ability to operate effectively in high-threat environments. Russia's failure to develop a credible fifth-generation fighter has significant implications for its arms export industry and international standing that extend far beyond the immediate military applications. The Su-57's technological limitations have made it difficult to attract international customers, with even traditional Russian arms purchasers showing limited interest in the aircraft. India, once a partner in the program, withdrew due to concerns about the aircraft's capabilities and cost-effectiveness, dealing a significant blow to the program's financial viability and international credibility. The export challenges reflect broader questions about Russia's technological competitiveness and reliability as a defense partner in an increasingly competitive international arms market. Countries considering advanced fighter purchases increasingly view Russian options as technologically inferior and strategically risky, particularly given the sanctions environment and Russia's international isolation. This perception has long-term implications for Russia's defense industry and its ability to maintain influence through arms exports. Russia's inability to build a true fifth-generation fighter reflects a convergence of technological, economic, and structural challenges that extend far beyond the Su-57 program itself. The aircraft represents the best of Russian aerospace engineering within current constraints, but those constraints are severe enough to prevent achievement of genuine fifth-generation capabilities. The Su-57 stealth deficiencies, engine limitations, avionics challenges, and production problems are symptoms of deeper issues within Russia's defense industrial base that cannot be easily resolved through increased funding or political pressure. Economic sanctions, technological isolation, and resource constraints have created a situation where Russia cannot compete effectively with Western fifth-generation fighters despite decades of effort and substantial investment. The gap between Russian and Western fighter capabilities continues to widen, reflecting broader trends in technological development and industrial capacity that favor countries with access to global supply chains and cutting-edge technologies. While the Su-57 may represent an improvement over Russia's fourth-generation fighters in some areas, it falls short of the standards that define true fifth-generation aircraft across multiple critical dimensions. 
The aircraft's limitations in stealth, supercruise, avionics integration, and production quality demonstrate that Russia lacks the technological and industrial capabilities necessary to develop fighters that can compete with the F-22 and F-35 in advanced combat environments. The implications extend beyond military aviation to Russia's broader technological competitiveness and strategic position in an increasingly multipolar world. The failure to develop a credible fifth-generation fighter represents a significant setback for Russian defense capabilities and international prestige, highlighting the challenges facing the country's military-industrial complex in an increasingly competitive and technologically demanding global environment. Russia's fifth-generation fighter aspirations remain largely unrealized, with the Su-57 serving more as a symbol of ambition than a demonstration of achievement, reflecting the broader technological and industrial challenges that constrain the country's military modernization efforts.